Hi, in this video I'm show you how to use a slicer to filter another slicer. In a way, this is not something new because you can inherently do this already in your slicers. But what happens is it gives our users a easier way to go ahead and sort and filter. So in this example, let's say I have this table. And it's a table because I created this as a table. You can see that the table tools are here. And in Excel 2013, uh, you have the capability of inserting a slicer in for a table to do the filtering. And so instead of filtering here, where we have the drop downs, uh, you can create a slicer, which is basically another way to filter your tables. So this makes it a little bit easier because now you're just clicking on some buttons and it does the filtering uh, that uh, this does, this type of execution of steps does, you're clicking on the box here. So that gives your capability, the slicers give you capability of doing uh, filtering. The thing about this particular scenario, even though uh, this makes it a little bit simpler or easier to do some filtering, let's say for example, we have a lot of records. So if I kind of highlight this column here, you'll see that there's a count of a little over 200. So there's about a little over 200, there's about 200 names here. So uh, even if this is the last name, you can see if I scroll down, that's a lot of uh, scrolling to do. Is there something to make it a little bit easier? And there probably, there actually is. And what we can do in this case is we can add another column here to look at the first letter of the last name and we can create another slicer to make it easier. So you just had to filter off that slicer and it'll just make the active last names clickable. So what I mean by that, let's go ahead and go into creating that. So I'll call this um, last name initial and then what I'll use is the left function and what the left function does is it takes uh, the num a number of characters from a text that you choose. So I'm going to use choose this text, the text in column H4, and I'm only going to take one character. So it's going to be the first character of that word or that name. So of course the first character of Turner is T, the first character of Collins is C, and so on. Now this makes it easier to create another slicer now. So since this is a table, and as I mentioned before, creating slicers for Excel tables is new in Excel 2013, I can actually cl click on my table, go under the table tools design and under the uh, tools group I can go ahead and click insert slicer. So the slicer that I want to insert is this last name initial. Click OK and now I have my last name initial. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this out a little bit and now by default it selects one column for each of the buttons. But I can change that. If I click on the slicer you'll see I have my slicer tools, my columns. I'm going to increase that to probably about uh, maybe I'll make it seven because the letters, it's only one character, so it makes it pretty small. I'm going to go ahead and just move this up here. And now, if I just wanted to look at last names, starting with G, I can just click on G. You can still select it, but as you notice, the color is a little bit lighter, indicating that that is not a part of the selection of your first slicer here. So it kind of elevates everything else that starts with a G at the top. So you don't have to go scrolling on this particular slicer box. You can just press the slicer box that you want. If we just want a J, we know that we only have J here and we have our selection here. I can go ahead and hide this. Right click on the column here. Go ahead and click hide. And maybe users may not be too familiar with the capabilities of tables. Maybe you just want to go ahead and uh, make that un uh, inactive, these uh, drop downs inactive. So I go into design tool and click under the table style options, go ahead and unselect the filter button. So basically it just becomes a table. It looks like a, just a regular range of cells table and you can give this option for your users to select uh, for your particular choices here. So it just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, if you wanted to select by last name, you don't, you don't have to scroll through all of this. You can just go ahead and pick the first initial of the last name and it'll give you the uh, active ones in a darker color or a more pronounced color so you can select it. So that's the way that you can kind of create a slicer to filter other slicers. And basically, if you were to give this to users, you're just making it easier for them to interact with your particular table. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.